lovelies. Today I'm going to show you how to make this very light canopy bed. I would like to apologize because much of the video is comprised of pictures, but I'll explain the best I can. Product you will need batteries for your battery operated lights if you opt to go that route. I had four sets of battery operated lights. You will need thread and scissors if you plan on sewing your fabric together. Your fabric will need to be probably about the length of your bed plus six feet and then a few inches greater than the width of your bed. I used four curtains that I sewed together which is why I needed the thread. And then also I got flowers however I decided not to use them. You also need um, a bit of cord to make the frame for your uh, four poster bed. If you don't have a four poster bed that's super easy. Just get some zip ties and some sort of poles. These are just dowels that I set up on my bed with zip ties. Next, you're gonna take that piece of cord I mentioned. I just used a crocheted chain made out of yarn and wrap it around one time around each of your poles, tying it in one corner, just so you can have a sort of frame which the blanket or the fabric will rest upon. Now lay your fabric evenly over your framework and your poles and grab your zip ties. You're probably gonna to wanna to match the zip tie to the color of your fabric. So I used this clearish white one and go ahead and cinch it around, just around the very, very, very top of the fabric. At this point, you're ready to set up your lights. So go ahead and put the batteries inside your battery packs and attach them to your bed frame. I used packing tape at inconspicuous spots. Just make sure that the switches are still pretty easy to access because you're not gonna wanna be jamming your hand between the bed and the wall when you're trying to turn on your lights every time. This is another picture of my battery packs. I ran the string lights up the pole, across the cord, and then down the other pole. I also put two of my battery packs lying just flat across the fabric at the top. As I said previously, I opted not to use the flowers. So this is my finished product, and this is all it all lit up. I hope you enjoyed making this project. Please let me know how it goes. Have a great day.